Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 3rd of 2020, well, it is titled Driving to the Sun. So what do we see here? Well, yesterday we considered how long it would take to bike to the moon. And today, why don't we look at how long it would take to drive to the sun? And we see here is our image, an image taken from the Solar Dynamics Observatory uh, from yesterday. So a very recent image of the sun and still looking relatively clean. Uh, we're still close to solar minimum, but you do see some activity up towards the upper right hand side with some act uh, with some brighter areas there, which would be related to sunspots if we were looking at the actual surface of the sun. So how long would it take to drive to the sun? Well, you can estimate pretty easily. We know that the sun is 93 million miles away on average. So if we imagine driving at 93 miles per hour just to make the math easy, that would mean it would take you only a million hours to get to the sun from the Earth. But the question then is how long is a million hours because when we get to very large numbers of things, it's not something that we really have a concept of you know what an hour or 10 hours or maybe even 50 hours would be. But a million hours is really hard to consider. So if you figure out one year, there are 87,600 hours in a year. So 100 years would be 876,000 hours. However, that's still not even the uh, distance uh, to the sun, the time we would need to get to the sun. We need 1 million hours to get to the sun. So we would need well over 100 years to be able to drive to the sun. And that would be taking a car driving 93 miles per hour constantly for over 100 years. So you could drive that 93 miles continuously 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And even if you did that for 100 years, you still would not reach the surface of the sun. Now, of course, like biking to the moon, there is no way to drive to the sun. But it is interesting to consider and puts those distances into perspective as to how far away the sun actually is. You can consider a long drive depending on what you're used to to be five or 10 or even 12 hours in a day. But here you're talking about 1 million hours to be able to get to the get to the sun. So you could say that would be many, many times driving back and forth across a very large area like the United States from coast to coast you could do that back and forth many many times and not even become close to the million hours or the distance that you would need to reach the sun. So that was our picture of the day for October the 3rd of 2020. It was titled driving to the sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be nearby stellar nursery. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.